Have a nice day to everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Autopix Garage. Today's video episode, we have manual transmission here. Railway drive, 5-speed transmission. Model code R5MB1. R means railway drive. 5 means 5-speed. M means manual transmission. Now, we will going to name the main component parts of this manual transmission. We have here our intermediate plate sub assembly. Clutch this attached to our input shop. We have the ball bearing and our output shop. Output shop where the first gear attaches the synchronizer ring for first gear. This is the one, the bronze. Okay. We have the slip for first and second gear. And we have here second gear, synchronizer ring for second gear. This bronze color. Third gear. Synchronizer ring for third gear. Slip for third and fourth gear. Synchronizer ring for fourth gear. This is fourth gear. We have here at the back of our intermediate plate sub assembly. This is the fifth gear. Snap ring. First and second gear shifting fork. Third and fourth gear shifting fork. Shifting reel for third and fourth gear. Shifting reel for first and second gear. Shifting reel for fifth gear. And we have here the reverse shifting fork, shifting rail for reverse, shifting arm for reverse gear. Up the rear of our transmission, we have the shifting fork for our fifth gear. This is our fifth gear. This is our sleeve for fifth gear. This is our counter shop. This is the first gear of our counter shop. Reverse gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and this is our roller bearing of our counter shop front portion this is our hub for fifth gear we have reverse idler gear reverse idler shop We have clutch housing, clutch cover, retainer plate, release bearing, clutch fork, extension housing, and our manual transmission case, sub-assembly. Transmission was in neutral position okay so the input shop is freely rotates when the transmission is in neutral position okay we'll try to shift the first gear 
So we, once you depress the clutch pedal, the clutch cover will disengage the clutch disc and that's the time you can shift to the first gear. The input shop stop rotating then you can shift to the first gear. This shifting port will move backward so that it will shift to first gear. Okay, so now we are in first gear. Okay, so when you release the clutch pedal, that's the time the clutch disc will rotate and import shaft will rotate also together the output shaft. Okay, then we press the clutch pedal and the clutch cover will disengage the clutch and the input shaft will stop rotating and that's the time Up to neutral then this first second shifting fork will move forward and that time you will change the gear from first gear to second gear okay so now we are in second gear then back to neutral position okay back to neutral position we're going to shift to third gear third gear this uh, third and fourth shifting fork will move backward so that we can shift to the third gear Okay, that's the third gear, move backward and ready in third gear. Now, we'll shift to neutral, back to neutral position. Okay, then, that's the time the input shaft rotating and the output shaft stop rotating because we are in neutral position then this third and fourth shifting port will move forward to port gear we'll shift the port to port gear okay we are in Fourth gear, back to neutral. Okay. Now we will shift to fifth gear. Fifth gear is at the rear of our transmission. This is our fifth gear shifting fork. Then we will shift to fifth gear. We will push forward this shifting wheel of our fifth gear okay that's the fifth gear of our manual transmission okay then push it forward to go back to neutral then we'll shift to we will shift the transmission to reverse gear. Okay. So we are in reverse gear. Now we are in reverse gear. So as you can see, the idler gear moving. 
Thank you for watching guys and I hope you learned something in our video episode for today. God bless and see you in next video tutorial.